For the Beaver Radio Network, I'm Brian Schultz, PSU men's basketball team. Coming off of a win over Crookston before break, we'll be at home this weekend against Winona in Upper Iowa. Joined by senior Jake Shallow. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Not too many guys have nights like you did right before break. Uh, career high, 30 points. You, everything you shot seemed to go in that night. Did you want to play again the next night and the next night and the next night instead of taking a couple of weeks off? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, it was nice to get home for a uh, break and kind of rejuvenate the body a little bit. But uh, after one of those kind of nights, it's just let's just keep playing. This half doesn't need to end. This, this, uh, this game doesn't need to end. And yeah. Have you had many nights like that in your career, either high school or college? Uh, high school more so than college, but college I was definitely a first. Uh, when did you know that it was going to be a good night for you? Uh, I don't know. To be honest, uh, I was just just played, and then right before halftime when I hit the one right at the buzzer, I looked up and I didn't realize I had that many points to start off on it, but I guess uh, that was kind of when it clicked and I realized it but before that I was just playing and not really even had a clue and then all of a sudden look at the at the, at the score and the uh, points and everything during right before running into halftime and it kind of oh <laughs> uh, when a team has a player that's that hot it's everybody else's job to keep getting them the ball right Yo, know, my teammates did a great job of uh, getting me the ball. There was a couple times where guys had open looks, and I just made, like, they'll give me one more pass, one more pass, and then guys would swing it. And But, uh, yeah, overall, everybody just did a really good job moving the ball, and it showed with our percentage, especially in the second half, setting a Bemidji record. There aren't too many teams that can shoot anywhere close to 70% in a game. Um, when you've got a night like that, don't you find that they're usually going to come at home? Yeah, I think uh, it probably most of the time it would be at home because of all the just the familiarity shooting on there every day now for f- almost four or five months, and then some of the guys staying there through multiple years, and uh, a-, a lot has to do with being at your home place in front of your home crowd, and I think that definitely helps. After the uh, trip to Northern and Moorhead, you kind of needed that one, didn't you? Yeah, we uh, we really needed to focus on uh, moving the ball a little bit more and uh, getting better shots rather than the first available one. Uh, we noticed that the, especially in the northern game where we were playing defense for seventy five percent of the game, and all we were doing is we'd come down and take a quick shot and then come back and play defense for thirty seconds. And I don't think really anybody that's how they want to play. So it uh, it was a, a good step forward against Crookston then before break, and now we just need to keep the momentum going against Winona and Upper Iowa. This team has a lot of new pieces to the puzzle, uh, a lot of new faces, uh, even some things the coach wants veteran guys to do maybe a little bit differently than they've done here. Is that maybe a reason why you, at least on paper, seem to be a little bit of an up-and-down team where you haven't quite figured out what your identity is going to be yet? Um, It's... It's yes and no. I wouldn't say that that's the sole reason. I think uh, the league is really tough. So I think if you go on the road to Northern and Moorhead, that's one of the more challenging road trips that you'll have throughout the year. And I think uh, I think some of it is they were two really good teams too. So I wouldn't put anything on just one sole factor, but I think it could probably be a combination of a little bit of everything. You guys ready for what Winona's going to be bringing you this weekend? I'm just guessing that they're not very happy with you guys uh, knocking them out of the playoffs the last couple of years. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, well, and then they're the number one team in the conference right now, too, and they're the the last undefeated team. So uh, it'll be a battle. It'll be a good game. Get everybody out in Bemidji to come out and uh, support us. But, um, yeah, I think we're ready. Uh, we started practice again yesterday, got in uh, two separate, what would be like a two-a-day, two different times coming in. We'll have that again today and uh, getting ready to get back in shape, get all the plays back down, and we'll be ready to go. Good luck. Thank you.